Welcome to Tea Tuesday. I'm Ina Lisa. This is your first time here. Welcome. And if you're one of the family, come on in. Grab some tea or something to drink. Today, I'm starting off with wild berry. Wild berry. And this tea, the others that I have that I tried the last time, I love them and because four comes in a little package so let's try it and see how it tastes oh that tastes good it tastes kind of like uh strawberries that's what i taste i was trying to look to see on the package what it was i was tasting strawberries that's the strongest flavor strawberry and a little bit of cherry i think is really good and when I do make my tea I make it with real sugar because I do not like Splenda in tea I love Splenda in coffee I think it tastes great it even has a great sweetness to it in coffee but somehow or another when it comes to the tea it just loses it so I like real sugar so I try to compensate for that if I've used real sugar I'll just cut back on something else that I'm that I'm uh, not gonna eat or drink or something so that we can be weight conscious yes I'm still working on losing weight I've been going I think I've gone like four times either walking or doing leaves so I'm doing good on that we're gonna continue the leaves this week and also, I think mm, the weather, oh, the weather here has been so beautiful today. It was like in the 70s, so it was like springtime. So it just really motivated me. I really wanted to start decorating for spring, but I held off. But that's what I really wanted to do was decorate for spring. And I have a tip for you today for tip for Tea Tuesday. Um, is tonight I was trying to decide what to make for dinner and I couldn't decide so I knew I was gonna make chicken but you know how many times can you make chicken how many different ways right so I took um, cream of celery and put it on top of the chicken just the cans I used three small cans that's what I had I used three small cans put just a little bit of water from each one to rinse it out and put it in there let them cook in the slow cooker on high for about three or four hours and it was amazing it was amazing it really was good and what i did was i, I didn't season with anything else just that and then by the time it finished oh it was so good and it was like a gravy to go over the um, chicken and also if you wanted to we had rice and broccoli with it you can put it over the rice if you wanted to so um, I'm going to put in a clip of where I did make the chicken and let you see it and how it turned out. So it was really, really good. So if you need an idea for tonight for dinner, that's my suggestion. And it, you know, I've tried cream of mushroom. Um, well, I really, what I did was I tried cream of mushroom and I had added the, uh, like I used a big can of the cream of mushroom. On some cube steak and I had added a small can of the cream of celery it just adds such a great flavor and I'm not real big on celery I'm not a celery lover you know some people just like to eat it raw peanut butter and that's not me but it really was good so it is something different and when I do things like that I just watch my portions of the the gravy kind of sauce it's not really gravy but you know what I mean and um, I just substitute for something else. So I'll make sure that I won't eat bread or I'll not eat another starch or something like that. Or get a little bit more exercise. <laughs> Gotta have those trade-offs. So because I'm trying to eat healthier, not necessarily diet. Because I don't do well on diets. When I try to diet, it just makes me that much more. So I'm trying to eat healthier. So the focus is on healthy eating healthy habits trying to exercise because I'm not an exercise kind of person 
So I'm trying to exercise. I'm trying to keep it moving. I'm trying to stay positive, you know, because I think our mindset has more to do with it than anything. I think when we believe, you know, we can do something, you can. And also, I think when you're positive, you have, you know, whether it's what you watch on TV, movies, you know, music, it doesn't matter. The more positive it is, the more positive your attitude will be. So I've been trying to feed myself as much positivity as I possibly can. All right. And what else do we want to talk about today? Oh, as we get older, and I don't know if it's because of, um, because I'm washing my hands more, but not really because, but I've noticed my hands, they are so dry and they're like, they feel like sandpaper. And it almost looks like there's little cuts on my skin. And I, I try to use lotion every time that I, I wash them. I try to use lotion and, and keep them moisturized. But they are just really, really, really in bad shape. Also, and my face. My face seems to have um, a dryness that I've never had before. So I don't know um, if it's just the winter time has made it even worse. But... So I'm looking for something to, to use on my hands. Um, there's a diabetic cream. Um, I think it's made by Gold Bond. And it's for your feet. Now it really does work really well on your feet. And it says diabetic on it. Of course you don't have to be a diabetic to use it. But it really is a good lotion for your feet. And I have tried that on my hands and it does work. But, you know, as I said, when you're constantly washing your hands, you know, you know with this COVID and trying to you know keep the germs down it really is re wreaking havoc on my hands and I'm still I'm excited about my visual board my um, neighbor brought gave me some magazines and my doctor's office the other day I went and I was telling her about my vision board and how excited I was and so she said, oh, I have some magazines for you. Because, you know, when you go to the doctor's office nowadays, they don't have the magazines out anymore because of COVID. So that was a plus for me. So now I have plenty of magazines to, to do my vision board. And I think retirement. Um, I'm new to this retirement. <laughs> and I think I really love being retired. I love getting up when you want to, going to bed when you want to, that kind of thing. I really enjoy it. But I think the hardest thing for me is financially because I'm used to having extra money to go shopping. You know, if you want something, you get it. And now I'm on a budget. And <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't like this budgeting thing. It's just, <laughs> maybe it's not for me. I don't know. But, so that, that's the hardest thing for me for retirement is, you know, other than, you know, you're getting older and, you know, but it's, it's a time where you can do things that you want to do, not necessarily things that cost money. You know, you just have time to spend with friend, family, friends, do the little things that you want to do, you know, take walks and so many, so many things. And I even was at home last night and I got a message on um, Facebook and it was an old co-worker from when I was 25 years old. <laughs> and um, she, she sent me a message, are you still the same person that used to work at this place? And I said, oh wow, I said, as soon as I saw her name, I knew exactly who she was. And I was so excited. And she just made my day. So, you know, reach out to somebody. Maybe you haven't talked to them in a long time. Reach out to them and make their day. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reach out to somebody that I don't know this week. That I haven't, that I don't know. Of course not. <laughs> if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. Um, if, <laughs> me and the Tin Man. Uh, if, you know, reach out to someone that you haven't talked to in a long time. You know, and just touch base with them and see how they're doing. Because, you know, sometimes if out of sight, out of mind, and then when you talk to them, you're just so excited. 
and it takes you right back to that time and, and it is really wonderful. So she just made my day talking to me yesterday. We talked for like an hour, messaging back and forth. It was wonderful and we're going to get together. So it was just a really, really good, good time we had yesterday. So I think that's it um, for our Tea Tuesday. Just be positive, believe in yourself and make the best of the day that you have you know some you know I, I have a cousin who she's in a um, nursing home and she she really gets sad that she has to be there um, because of health reasons and so forth so if you know someone who's in a nursing home or or any kind of facility like that reach out and go see them if you're able to if not send them cards send them a care package or just call them and talk to them so I talk to her quite often every day I talk to her um, and sometimes you know for lengths of time because she has no one else to talk to so reach out to someone and make their day so you have a wonderful day and I'll see you the next time on Tea Tuesday bye y'all all right y'all let's see if I could do this one-handed oops I dropped my hand hold on y'all all right, most people call them mittens, but in our house we call them mittens. Uh oh. Let's see. All right, and that's my lid holder. I just love it. All right, there we go. Mm 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 mm. Doesn't it look good? That is our cream of celery, and with the chicken, I'm gonna stir it up. Oh, that looks so good. Alright, let's put the lid back on so it can finish cooking. I'm trying to see that put it back on there. And yeah, see, yummy, yummy, yummy. It's gonna be good. Yeah, I just wanted to show you dinner with the cream of celery with broccoli rice and the cream of celery chicken. And it really tastes delicious. You have to try it.